Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and uh, storage is not cheap these days. So let's try and reclaim as much as we possibly can, especially after you've done some Windows updates. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so if you're on Windows 10 or Windows 11 and you are someone who does regular Windows updates, then you might just want to think about where some of those updates actually go in after you've done the update. Now Windows actually, in its wisdom, decides to keep hold of those updates just in case you might want to roll back. If for some reason there is a problem with a update you've done, you've got some problem, maybe your printer stopped working as a lot of us have found recently, or maybe your Nvidia graphics card drivers have just gone completely uh, then possibly you want to roll back, which is all well and good. But for those of you that are happy and you've got your system as you like it and you want to retrieve some space from Windows Update, today we're going to show you exactly how to do it. It's very simple, very straightforward and takes very, very little time. So let's get straight over and do it. So this is our Windows desktop. We've just done the latest Windows Update, which was October 2022. And in order to free up some space, all we need to do is to click on the Start button, click on the Settings cog or just go straight into Settings and you want to go into System at the top here. Then you want to go into storage and it'll do a quick sort of scan of the system to tell you what the deal is and what is going on. It'll tell you installed apps, temporary files, etc. So clearly we've got a lot of apps in here, which uh, if you want to, you can go in there and actually remove some of your apps from add remove programs. That's very simple and straightforward to do. But the one thing you want to do is to take a look at temporary files, which is this one here. Now you can, if you want to, you can turn on storage sense, which automatically will free up space get rid of temporary files, etc., etc. You can turn it on and this will do this for you on a regular basis. But I like to do it manually just in case, again, there is a problem with an update. So let's take a look at our temporary files. So in here, we've actually got a ton of stuff. So previous Windows installations, we, at the moment we've got 14 gigabytes, which is absolutely insane. So we can choose to that one. We've got our error dump files. There's over a gig of that. Upgrade log files, half a gig of that and so on and so on. So also we've got our personal downloads folder. So if you want to clear that out as well, you can do. The choice is entirely up to you. You can go down through, you've got thumbnails, cache, direct text shader cache, and all these other kinds of things. The main one you're going to want to be looking at really is going to be your previous Windows installations. Again, especially if you've just done a Windows update relatively recently. So once you're happy, you've selected all the ones you want there, click on remove files. And you'll get a warning saying remove files, the selected files and their data will be permanently deleted. And once you're happy, click on continue. And as you can see at the top there on that little status bar, it says purging previous Windows installations. So at the moment, we're actually going to be retrieving somewhere in the region of like, well, the best part of 16 gigabytes of storage, which is actually quite a lot of room. Okay, so once that's done, you'll come up with the kind of message at the end. So obviously downloads are still remaining. We've chosen to keep those because there's some things I actually need there at the moment. Um, updates, there's some updates there, 17.9 megabytes. But certainly that is considerably better and some of our space now has been recovered on the system. So there you go, nice way of saving a little bit of space on your storage drive, especially if you're using slightly more expensive M.2 drives, SSDs, etc. Obviously, these do cost a little bit more than spinning rust drives, which, uh, yeah, every penny counts. And to be able to get, in our particular instance, run about 15% of our storage back is pretty impressive. I actually didn't realize it had got quite that bloated. It's uh, been a little while since I've actually done that. So I must try and remember to do that on a monthly basis. And also, you must also remember to subscribe on a daily basis. So don't forget, if you've enjoyed this content, smash the like button, click subscribe. If you'd like to see this on a daily basis, then hit that chime notification and we'll be in your daily feed. I think that's going to wrap this one up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.